What's up YouTube, Cheese here. And today is the day that we are finally covering our Elite Controller settings. So I'm gonna try to make this really quick video, shouldn't be too long, pretty simple stuff. But uh, first thing I need to cover is this overlay around the screen that you guys see. Uh, that was made by Vipers. Uh, he completely made it for free, uh, it looks amazing. Thank you very much, my guy. Uh, all you ask me to do is give him a shout out and I will leave some links to his Twitter and YouTube down in the description. So you guys should definitely check him out. Um, thank you again and let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in our mapping. Uh, first things first, I have a Siege and a COD uh, mapping. So my one is my Siege, two is my COD. My COD I just kind of use for Call of Duty and Battle Royale games because Siege has a pretty distinct button mapping layout. So uh, I'll just scroll through this really quick. Uh, top left bumper. So this would be my top left right here would be lean left. Bottom left is my reload. Top right, so up here is my lean right, and my bottom right is my crouch, so B. So X and B are the bottom left two, or the bottom two, so X, B, top left, <laughs> lean left, top right, lean right. Sorry, I know this is not a great way to show it to you guys, but um, it's kind of the best way that I can do it. So really that's only the big deal. Nothing else has changed, honestly. Uh, I use my, so there's those little sliders on the back, for your triggers um, so you can have hair triggers I use hair triggers um, not something you need to do and my button mapping layout um, is not something that you need to cover exactly but I would suggest using all four paddles because if you have an elite controller you want to put yourself at that advantage where you don't have to move your thumbs besides aiming right so your thumbs should always just be on aiming and movement and then obviously when you have to vault and things like that and switch weapons but if you can keep them in one place as much as possible, that helps you because then you can focus on aiming with your thumbs instead of doing anything else, instead of having to lean left and lean right. So that's why I have my top two paddles are lean left, lean right, and then crouch for bottom left, right, and uh, reload bottom left. Uh, so we'll go into our left stick. So I haven't really played around with any of these sensitivity curve things, just for the simple fact that um, I don't really feel like I need to. My aim feels pretty solid uh, as is. And so I just haven't really messed with it. I don't see a point in messing with it. Um, there's a ton of different settings in here. Honestly, I have no idea what they do. <laughs> not gonna try, not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know if these are gonna help you with aim or anything. All I know is that the default works just fine for me. So default for left stick, default for right stick. Uh, go into my triggers. Um, so I didn't even know uh, up until like a few days ago that um, trigger dead zone was a thing. I don't understand why you'd have this. I guess if your trigger has got drift in it, but I don't understand how a trigger could have drift. So that's kind of weird to me. But anyways, I just turned the trigger dead zone all the way down because when you have your trigger dead zone up, you're gonna have to push it down harder or farther. You have to push down your trigger farther in order for it to react, which is gonna delay your reaction time. So not a good thing to have on. If you don't have like messed up triggers or whatever, I would just completely take this off. There's not really a point to it at all. Uh, vibration, so my left, all my vibrations are the same. They're, it's two above from zero, so two above from not having any vibration at all. And at first I did this just because I wanted to uh, save my battery and my controller. <laughs> and then I just kind of got used to it. Um, I kind of like playing with the lower vibration because it doesn't distract me as much. I'm not gonna say it helps you with aim or anything like that because honestly I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. I just play with my vibration low because I like it that way. Uh, brightness, so my brightness, this doesn't matter to you guys, but I have it turned way down um, just to save battery yet again. So I'll go back to mapping really quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I covered my paddles, covered my buttons, left stick, right stick, left trigger, right bumper, left bumper, right trigger, all that stuff's the same. So everything is default except for obviously the paddles, which is the, which is the big thing when you buy an Elite controller. And like I said before, I would suggest using all four paddles, just uh, especially for Siege, because they're very useful. I know a lot of people will put one paddle on there, and it'll be like their crouch paddle, and they'll just crouch spam the whole time. Don't do that. Also, don't lean spam, <laughs> okay? Good players who have good aim, they don't crouch spam, and they don't lean spam. Uh, that's for people who are bad. And sorry sorry if that's one of you guys, but hey, man, I'm just, I'm just telling you what's up. So... 
left, right, top paddles, or my lean left, lean right, bottom left, reload, bottom right, crouch. Uh, that's really about it. It took me about a week, about a week to get smooth, well not smooth, to get to get the basis down for these paddles, because it was really weird at first, right? Because I'm not used to, so when I play with my paddles, hopefully you guys can see this, I play, uh, so this finger here, uh, this finger, this finger, this finger. So these four fingers on each paddle, um, which before I had never done anything like that, because up to like six months ago, all I did was play with a default controller. So using those, the paddles really threw me off at first. It was difficult, I'm not gonna lie, it was difficult. But I played grinded T-hunts for like a week, uh, and eventually I just got used to it. And then now, slowly over time, I've gotten smoother and smoother and smoother. And I think I'm in a pretty good spot now with my paddles, where I'm pretty confident that any movement that I choose to do, I can. Uh, that's really about it for this video. I know it's a short one. I'm sorry about that. I wanted to make sure, though, that I covered everything. Um, one last thing before we go. I just want to say that you do not need an Elite Controller to be good at Rainbow Six Siege. It does help in being fluent with your movements, just because, you know, your thumbs don't have to do as much. Your thumbs can just stay on the sticks and aim instead of having to lean or crouch or vault. Um, you can just keep your sticks in one, or keep your sticks, keep your thumbs in one spot, which is nice. But it's not a necessity. It's not something you need to be good at Rainbow Six Siege. And so if you don't have one, don't feel too bad because you, you really don't need one. I'm not going to lie, it does help in a lot of ways, but it's not a necessity. But anyways, guys, thank you for all the support. It's been crazy lately. Like, it's been absolutely nuts. We're kind of we're kind of popping off a little bit, and I'm getting super excited. But thank you again, guys, for all the support. I owe, owe you guys a lot, and I love you all. And as always... Most importantly, never forget, stay cheesy.